What's going on guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. Today I am going to show you how to do two things. One is increase your engraving speed dramatically uh, using a, a DSP laser and light burn. Uh, you can probably do this without light burn by going into your controller settings, but you need to find out the password uh, with light burn. You don't need the password, so you can just get it done straight away. You can get a free trial of Lightburn, I'll stick a link to that down below and if you're not already using Lightburn, I highly recommend that you do, it's a brilliant piece of laser software and it just makes everything so much easier. So the second thing that you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to engrave right at the edge of your material. So if I wanted to engrave down here uh, using um, a film engrave then it's not going to want to do it because the machine's too close to zero and it really doesn't like it so I'm going to show you how to get past that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and engrave on this left side using the default settings. Uh, this is at zero zero that's where this these two bits of wood uh, they're just stuck down with some double sided tape at zero zero on my machine and I'm going to show you what happens when you try to engrave close to this edge and what the machine does. So that's the size of the engraving that I was going to do and if we hit start, the machine beeps. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, I will try and get a decent shot of that or can hide there. No, that's not working. It might work, might show up better on the PC. It says not enough, extend space, and you have to press escape. And then you laser homes again, and you can't do it. Okay, so we're back in the machine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move it across this side uh, to where it's going to let me do it, and I'm going to show you the difference between how much it overscans and uh, how we get rid of that overscan later on afterwards. And we're going to show you the time difference as well. I'm not going to change the speed and power settings, all I'm going to change is some of the machine settings for the X steps and uh, that improves both of the issues that we are having. Alright guys, as you can tell, that took quite a while. It took 3 minutes and 22 seconds uh, on the counter, uh, just to do this. And obviously, as you can tell, it, it goes quite a way off the engraving. Now that was at 250mm a second, and as you can see, it, it went quite far. If I lowered this down to around 100, it wouldn't go as far, and it would actually engrave quicker, but the engraving wouldn't the engraving would go a lot deeper because it's actually doing the engraving a bit slower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the settings in Lightburn, uh, how to get to the settings, what you need to change to make this quicker and then I will show you the result. Okay so we're over in Lightburn and you want to head up to edit and go to machine settings. This will load up the DSP settings for your profile and then you want these two profiles right here. Uh, these are default 2000 and I set the x-axis to 10,000 uh, I thought 999 would just put it to 10,000 maximum but it seems like there is no maximum so uh, just put that to 10,000 I don't recommend going any higher and your y-axis I recommend going to around 4,000 always do some testing on some engravings yourself just uh, put these to around half that see how it goes and then kick it up a little bit more, about a thousand at a time, until you get to the maximum before things start getting distorted. When you're finished, click right, and then that's it. You are done. It will save everything to the DSP controller, and you're good to go. Alright guys, so we're back over to the laser after doing those settings. I recommend just doing like a, a full black circle to do your testing just so you can see the line intervals and the difference that you get there. So I'm going to do the exact same engraving at the exact same settings and speed. The only thing I've changed is the acceleration of the x-axis and the y-axis. 
and I'm going to do it right at this edge as close as I can get and uh, you'll see the huge difference it makes. There you go guys, so that engraved at 1 minute 47 seconds, so that's almost a minute quicker than doing this one, and that's only with a tiny circle um, engraving, so the, the quality of the engraving is pretty much identical, there's, there's not really any difference at all, you can have a really close look and it looks identical, and look how close to the edge I got, so that's it guys, that's how you can increase the speed of your engravings and also be able to engrave a lot lot closer to the edge of your material which will help you save material in the future like i say in lightburn this is super easy to do you just read the profile change the numbers write the profile and it just does it you can't you can do it from your laser control panel but you need the password and obviously with these Chinese lasers you don't always get the password you can probably find it online but with Lightburn it's just super easy thanks for watching guys I hope this helps somebody and it helps save you a lot of time in the future if you did help you then please hit that like button and consider subscribing because I post videos like this all the time anything to try and help other people if it's something that makes my life easier then it'll probably make your life easier too. And as always, I will post a link down below to my Buy Me A Coffee page where if this did help you and you just want to say thank you, you can just buy me a coffee, buy me a beer. It's just a thank you to me to, for helping you out. And it also helps my channel grow. It helps me get some materials and equipment that I can test for you guys to try and hopefully answer some of the questions that you might have for your lasers. So thanks guys, see you in the next video.